Yes, sir. My tricker. Back up in this thing, man. Today, I hope y'all ready to run down some of the world's most unexplained mysteries, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy TikToks that'll leave you speechless. But before we hop into that, man, go ahead and spam that like button right now so we can run the numbers up on the algorithm. And you ain't got to think about it later. And then if you haven't already, man, go ahead and hit that sub button, man. Sub up. Join the family, man. This is the most lit and active community on YouTube, period, man. And to everybody who's already subbed up, man, you already know I appreciate each and every one of you guys for helping me build this community from the ground up also the mod trick at asmr channel is officially live i'll leave a link in the description if you guys are in the asmr go ahead and sub up to that channel turn on notifications so you don't miss the first video but with that being said guys let's hop straight into the video major force in the tech world is dead abc7 news reporter amanda del castillo live for us in san francisco with what we know about this tech giant good morning amanda <laughs> Good morning, Julian. Yes, some high-profile friends of tech executive Bob Lee have taken to social media to voice their love for Lee, also their shock and frustration over the news of his death. They say that he died in a San Francisco stabbing yesterday morning, though San Francisco PD has not yet confirmed that Lee is the victim. The Chronicle, though, making that connection to a attack that happened here along Main Street at Harrison yesterday at 2.30 a.m. Now, Lee, no doubt, a major force in the tech world. He was the chief product officer at MobileCoin, a cryptocurrency company. Before his current job, he acted as CTO of mobile payment app Square and the creator of Cash App. Early in his career, he also worked at Google. Other tech executives, friends, and colleagues have used social media to post tributes for Lee. The CEO of Abra sharing Lee was a father, adding in part, he was a generous, decent human being who didn't deserve to be killed. He was in the good part of the city and appeared to have been targeted in a random mugging slash attack. That's a part of MMA fighter Jake Shields' post, and he described that. And in a statement emailed to ABC7 News, his company, specifically the CEO of MobileCoin, saying, Bob was a force of nature, helped to birth Android and Cash App into our world. Moby was his dream, a privacy-protecting wallet for the 21st century. I will miss him every day. Of course, we are still looking into the circumstances of Lee's For now, it's clear the tech world and beyond are mourning a beloved friend. Now, San Francisco police have confirmed a stabbing happened in this area yesterday morning. Uh, only identifying... I hope this doesn't turn into like a Tupac and Biggie situation where it just goes completely unsolved, man. But this is suspicious. Tell me what you guys think about this one. No, you're not tripping. Cash app is not working. Uh, if you send money right now to somebody, it's going to say that it will be deposited shortly on their end. However, the money will not be in your account anymore and the money will not be showing in their account. Cash app has yet to respond to anybody on Twitter. Not a lot of people have really been tweeting about it yet. So there's no real guarantee that it's happening to everyone. However, I logged out of my cash app and tried to log back in. I have not gotten any code. It's been almost an hour since I tried to get the code to log into my cash app. Um, the person that I sent money to, they have not gotten anything. It just says that they got it, like transaction-wise, but there's no money in their accounts. So at this point, nobody knows what's going on with Cash App. We're hoping something happens because I just sent money to my mother and um, she can't find it. Cash App is in upheaval. This sign has been going viral the past week and there's actually a really sad story behind it. The man behind it is David Leibenson. Back in the day, he was working with Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner on an app that he co-founded called Sensorgram. During one of their meetings, he pitched the idea of Kim Moji. Kim and Kris loved the idea, so they verbally agreed on a 60-40 split. David later then gets a call asking if he trademarked Kim Moji. He said no, but they were going to soon, but then Kim's team said, don't trademark it, we'll do it for you. And they did, but they did it behind his back without his name on Kim it. Kim then goes on to launch Kimoji and makes millions of dollars. David sues her for $100 million. Kim then countersues for $300 million knowing he can't pay it off. This then forces him to drop out of the lawsuit, in which now he then owes Kim Kardashian $400,000. Attorneys, stress, her time, all that stuff. Because of this, David lost his whole family, lives out of his car, and works two jobs just to pay this off. And now since he has nothing to lose, he's trying to have his voice heard. Hey, they did him dirty, but he fumbled the bag. Someone sent me this. Let's see what's going on. Hi. Um, I got Girl Scout 
Um, I don't have any cash on me. I'm sorry. Uh, You're free. Uh, Yikes. Aren't those for the Girl Scouts? We're selling them for free. <laughs> Whoa, that laugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, no thank you on the Girl Scout cookie. You're scary! Bro, what is this video? Okay. Leave the... I can see you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, for more. Hey, I definitely wouldn't open the door, but for free Girl Scout cookies, I'd tell her just leave them on the doorstep. I'll grab them later, bro. Footage of a cyclone scene from space on our flat Earth from 1972. These images taken over a five-hour period were taken from the Apollo 17 spacecraft. NASA still deny this footage. I thought flat earthers don't believe in space, so that's cap. With a condition called synesthesia can see bright colors when they hear music or taste flavors when they see certain shapes or numbers. They could even smell words. This neurological condition alters a person's perception of reality. Scientists believe that synesthesia results from an overabundance of neural connections. Our five primary senses, hearing, sight, touch, taste, and smell are controlled by different parts of the brain with limited cross communication. In the brains of people with synesthesia, the walls are broken down and there is more communication among these brain regions. As a result, the information gets jumbled. Synesthesia is extremely rare and most synesthetes are born with it. It's estimated that only 4% of people in the entire world have this condition. More recently, studies have linked the condition to certain genes, leading scientists to believe that synesthesia may be heritable. Interesting some researchers believe that we all have synesthesia to varying degrees. It is simply that some of us are more aware of the sensory stimuli. It's like the trip that never ends. Man, every time I put out an album, for some strange reason, I always lose somebody close to me. My pops, it was jams, it was my sister. Like, I always lose somebody close to me, so, you know, I feel like, you know, some crazy, like, jinx or something. Without being superstitious or just paranoid, I just you know, take a toll. I take a toll out of it. Just do, bro. Hey, that's why you gotta love your people while they're here. If you've been beefing with somebody close, man, send them a text. That shooting star? No, it's not. It's going up and down. What is that? That's not a plane. What is that? Like, can we run? Run? Run hang that on, way? Hang on. What on earth is that? Someone else shooting out in front of it now. There's yeah. two of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, guys, you are looking. I don't know what you're looking at, but they're, they're UFOs. If ever there's an un unidentified flying object, that's that. Can, like, can we go that way? Can we go that way? There's two of them flying next to each other. Like, oh my god, you guys, I don't think you realise how lucky you are to even witness something like this. Look at them! Oh my god. What is that? Can I quickly go that way a bit? Yeah, go where you want, mate. I'm running over. Is that on the golf course? Can I run over like really close? That, I've never seen anything like it. Dad? Yeah? Is that a road there? Yeah. I'm just a guy on the field because that will be right above us. Paranormal caught on camera. <laughs> this one's you. <laughs> Look at this. You listen closely, it almost sounds like a fighter jet, but I don't know about this one. Let me know what you guys think. This might be the creepiest photo ever. And I know you're like, Khalil, it's just a picture of Woody Allen and his wife, Suni. Well, he adopted Suni when she was 10 with his ex-wife, Mia. So yeah, he's basically Suni's father, who's now her husband. And they've also now adopted kids together. At least one of his friends had to tell him how weird of a flex that was. Hawaii is a land of strange and bizarre creatures. Nearly every species of caterpillar in the world is a herbivore, a plant eater. This caterpillar is not looking for a leaf to eat. His claws are better suited to a more lively meal. A plant hopper.
The best way to catch its prey is to launch an ambush attack. To stand a chance, the caterpillar needs to find some better camouflage. Just have to demonstrate that he will not take power um, by uh, if we uh, if he does run, uh, making sure he, uh, under the legitimate efforts of uh, our constitution, does not become the next president again. Anyone know who this uh, guy is at the Trump arraignment yesterday? Watch his eyes. Watch his eyes. Definitely not normal. Um, there were a few of him there like this. Uh, very obvious uh, that we're in a spiritual or some type of warfare going on here for sure. Look at his eyes. That is not normal. Not normal. Can anybody tell me who he is? Secret Service? What was his purpose on being there? Because his eyes something is going on there definitely and he had that alien size head too will this song make you cry this theory says yes the song in question is Aquatic Ambiance by an artist named Sizzy. And people have reported that this song does something to your brain. It unlocks something in there that makes you want to cry. And to make it even worse, when paired with videos that are nostalgic in nature, there is something that happens that makes this song sound even better. Now, of course, like anything, there is a science behind why music unlocks that nostalgic part of your brain that makes you want to cry in the first place. There is even a particular music chord progression that makes you feel this way. It's called the minor four progression. Conspiracy theorists believe that this chord progression plays with the chemistry of your brain and makes you feel things you didn't think you would feel. Songs with this chord progression include Green Day's Wake Me Up When September Ends, uh, The Beatles' Blackbird, and even Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Now, of course, this channel is called Song Theory, so don't just take my word for it. Click this down below and tell me what you think. Hey, the only song that can get me on the brink of crying is I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. Like, that song gotta be minor for progression. Just keep watching up behind me on that ledge. Oh, sorry about that. Who's was, was doing you? Oh, there he is. Okay. It's there. Oh, good. Cool. At least we've got a shot of, of one. I don't know, it could be like some small monkey species, but it moved like a human. Mr. Armstrong, Bart Several, ABC Digital. Wanted to give you the opportunity to swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon. Will you put your left hand on the Bible and swear to God that you walked on the moon? Gentlemen. Mr. Cyber. Yes? <clears throat> if you really walked on the moon, why would you not do that? So why don't you just put the end to the record in the argument and put your hand on the Bible, swear to God you walked on the moon. Mr. Cyber, yeah. knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. Gentlemen. Really? Well, no, it's a real Bible. You have the opportunity to have $5,000. The meeting is not open. Well, you have five thousand dollars cash. You can give it to charity if you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon. Please I have a tape. That'd be fine. Why don't you swear to? Why not? Why won't you do it? So why don't you put your hand on the Bible and swear to God that you walked yeah, on the moon? Mr. Cyborg has made a fool of himself in front of the world. Mr. Cyborg, you do not deserve answers. You don't deserve answers.
Fed just announced that it will introduce the FedNow payment service this July. And then following that, the central bank digital coin. What does all this mean? Now, before we start, I'm gonna admit, this one is hard not to land in conspiracy theory. But I'll start with what this means. With FedNow, you'll be able to transfer payments 24 seven, all day, and it's gonna be quick. So payments will go from your bank to FedNow where you're purchasing from. Where I do not have an answer is why the government wants to do that. The reason I say that, this already exists in the private market. And the government doesn't have a history of seeing what's done in the private market and saying, we could do that better. They just don't do that. Now, when you talk about the CBDC and all money flowing through FedNow, I could see why, but then this is where it's hard not to go into conspiracy theory. If you look at our paper currency, there's a cost to making money, making coins, the cost is more expensive than the coin value itself. Then you have to manage the money, you have to retire it, you have armored trucks and transportation, giving the government the benefit of the doubt. This seems like a more efficient process. But the other part of it, having cash gives people the ability to do something wrong, like avoid taxes. And so having eyes on all transactions would make that a lot more difficult. Now, conspiracy theory, the outlook is now the government has all of the control over our currency and they get to see everything we're doing. So if you're doing something that the government doesn't like, they will have the power to limit your ability to buy and sell. On this one, I will admit, I don't know why the government's doing this. I've said this before that I thought the risk to Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies was the government not allowing deregulated currency, but this seems like something different. What do you guys think? How do the people benefit though? It's the last thing you wanna see in the middle of the ocean. You might know Diddy Yankee from this song, Gasolina. And at his most recent concert, there was a big picture of a demented goat representing Baphomet. Just to find out that this is the cover of his most recent album. This man has such a big audience, and since he's a Puerto Rican singer, his music travels throughout all different countries. If you look at any of his music videos, you can see symbolism of the all-seeing eye and the Illuminati. And all of the merch he sells is goat horns, goat heads, and devil horns. Who wants to buy a demented-looking goat on a shirt? He even wears the goat head as a chain, and it's his profile picture across all of his social media accounts. He also founded a record label company called El Cartel Records and the symbol of the company is literally the Illuminati sign. These Latin American and Puerto Rican artists literally have the biggest audiences in the world. If you saw my Bad Bunny video, you'll know that they're all pushing out the same dark demonic agenda and it's getting really bad. Then one is caught. It's the signal the others have been waiting for. Surrounded by vibrating bodies, the hornet at the core of the bee ball begins to overheat. The bees have the advantage, a heat tolerance two degrees above that of their enemy. At 46 degrees Celsius, the aggressor is roasted alive. Caught him lacking. The hiding in the pages of the Devil's Bible. There is a secret book called the Codex Gigas, which is a massive medieval manuscript created in the 13th century. Well, legend has it that there was a monk named Herman the Recluse who was imprisoned for breaking his monastic vows, and in exchange for his freedom, made a deal with the devil to create a book that would contain all human knowledge, thus giving it the nickname, the Devil's Bible. The original book contained 620 pages of various medical and magical text, but 12 pages were later torn out and hidden forever. Some people speculate that the missing pages contain secret knowledge and that when it was used in the past, caused disasters, ranging from a fire to the Black Death. Even though a monk who was trying to steal the book was struck down by lightning, many people are still in search of the book with the question. Hey, I bet those missing pages are the blueprints to build CERN, bro. But with that being said, guys, that was the video. Thank you for coming to kick it with me. Let me know what you guys thought about these creepy TikToks in the comments below. And until next time, y'all take care of y'all.